Hey guys, welcome back to Stick Mobility TV. Dennis and Ray here for Stick Mobility. In this video, we're going to be over, going over uh, a couch stretch, which is going to open up the anterior tissues into the hip flexor. Uh, what we're seeing is a lot of people are taking that leg and jamming it up against the wall. It's a pretty aggressive move, especially since if a lot of people don't have that natural lengthening of those tissues, it can be a little bit of overstimulus on that. So we want to give you a little bit easier way and a lot more receptive way for your tissues to get adapted and lengthen. So what Ray's going to do here is he's going to use a plyo box. We have this set up at the uh, 30, uh, 30 inch height. So Ray's going to step out in front of the box. He's going to have his sticks at 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. And what he's going to do is he's going to take one leg and he's going to place the top of the foot up on top of the box. All right. From this position, he's going to place his hands on top of the sticks to lengthen up top. He's actively going to take this foot back here and he's going to push the foot lightly into the box at about 30 to 35 percent perceived exertion. What that's going to do is that's going to start to activate all the anterior tissues up into the hip flexor. As soon as he does that, he's then going to take this right glute and he's going to squeeze the glute and he's going to go posterior pelvic tuck to lengthen and get that nice stretch to that hip flexor. Once then he's engaged that, he's then going to slowly start to drop down, soften and put weight on that left leg. As he does that, he's still actively pushing this foot down and now as he's dropping down towards the ground, He's gently still pushing those sticks into the floor, also at about 35% perceived exertion. And that's building strength and neuromuscular control as we simultaneously lengthen the tissues and get a good stretch in that hip flexor region and anterior tissues of that right quad. Okay? So he's going to hold that for about 6 to 10 seconds, then he eases off of that. What he can then do in that second go around is he can start to bring a little bit more tension into the move by even boosting the, the tension up to about 40, 45 percent. Doesn't need to be much stronger than that. So if it goes the second time around, he'll increase it to about 40, 45 percent perceived exertion. Deep breathing, nice diaphragmatic breathing, and he holds that for six to ten seconds. Longer if you'd like to, that's perfectly fine, and then he'll come out of that. Excellent. And then of course, as soon as he's done with one side, he'll switch over to the other, he'll switch over to the other leg. All right. So that's how we start. That's the first basis for what, how we stretch the anterior tissues into the hip flexor, as opposed to using the wall, dropping down into a full kneeling position and getting a little over aggressive on as far as lengthening those tissues. So thank you for checking out this video. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the bio for more membership, con uh, more video content. Uh, schedule as far as our education, as far as our certifications are uh, concerned, and also to uh, buy products. So for Stick Mobility, Dennis and Ray, movement made better. better.